Hey, what's shaking, sports fans? It is Friday morning, February 18th, around 10.20 in the morning here in Greenwood, Arkansas. Got a nice sunny day, man. It's going to be a great day to ship out some cards. And uh, fortunately for us, man, we've only got a couple to go out. Got a 2020 Mosaic Ryan Tannehill and then a... 2006 Topps Chrome, Plaxico Burris, you know, so just a couple single cards going out today. And, and, you know, as I always say, man, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm very grateful to be able to ship out these two cards because I know that there's days that, um, you know, you don't, <laughs> you may not always get to ship or there's days like this where um, it, 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 sales are kind of hard to come by but so kind of what i did is here's here's those two sales and and why that might be important um kind of one of the things i'm thinking about right now if you can see the difference in the photos between the top photo and the bottom photo so this photo is a uh, from the chrono card scan and then this is a light box photo that we did and so both of them are selling and i thought i had this ryan Tannehill in both light box and um, scan photographs, but um, you know, I didn't. So um, let me let me kind of adjust this camera here to, to kind of give you guys a better view of what I'm looking at. So I went in and, you know, I scrolled through, um, you know, different areas. And so like, right. Right there is the scan of the Ryan Tannehill. I thought I had him. It ended up, the only one that I really had a comparison with was uh, this Eddie George. And I'll kind of scroll down here a little bit more to show. So yeah, here's, here's another copy of this Eddie George. So then what I did basically was just pulled up both of the, uh, both of the shots here. Let me get both of these guys up and then see if we can zoom back. So yeah, so like here on the left is the Chrono Card scan, and here's the light box photo. And there's a lot to like about either one for, for our purposes that, that, that I, for the purposes I'm using them for. And what I'm kind of curious of is with what is most appealing to the buyer, you know? So that's, that, that's kind of the, the question I'm asking myself here. And when I go to the listings, so here's here's an example of that listing live or a listing where we've got those techniques. So this is a this is a cut of you know one of our multi-variation listings. So you have the headline photo and it kind of gives you a breakdown of what's going on. And then the the 49ers cards, those individual variants right there so and I think how it works like if I do that then that photo comes up right so if I'm over here and I'll pick one where I know where I know there's a there's a scan so there's a Nick Bosa I don't know if there's another Nick Bosa but anyway I know that there's a contenders Richard Sherman so then that comes up and then that's the scan so then that's what you know the customer sees and I like I like that I like the way it fills it up I think for production services man it works pretty good you know here's here's a Javon Kinlaw you know that's out of the the light box you know I will say that uh, using the light box I think I'm more particular on how the cards are. You know, I, I definitely inspect the cards better. But um, yeah, so then there's a prism. And the prisms come out kind of dark, a lot, you know, darker than what what you might like. Sometimes, and here's here might be a good example, like the prisms are kind of, sometimes they look clean. The silver prisms look kind of whited out. So. That's just kind of something that I was thinking about, you know, like, hey man, it's a slow sales day and what do we got going on? And I might put this out on social, you know, which is which is preferable, you know? 
I kind of like both and I like them both for different reasons. I think it's something we'll expand on as time goes on on slow days. You know what that said? Hey, let's do this again tomorrow.